needs action. Gas supply to the EU could be jeopardized by corruption scandal. Welcome to Eagle News Channel. Qatar is seen as Europe's best chance in its effort to wean itself off of gas imports from Russia. Yet, a corruption scandal is threatening to destroy relations between the EU and Doha. On December 11, Belgian authorities charged four people of accepting money and gifts from a Gulf country in order to influence decisions made in the European Parliament EP. After another four days, the EP came to the conclusion that any efforts to cooperate with Qatar should be put on hold until the situation was explained. The vice president of the European Parliament, Eva Kiley, a Greek member of Parliament, was fired by the European Parliament as well. Kiley, along with three others, was arrested by Belgian authorities on suspicion of receiving bribes. Ms. Kiley's defense attorney has stated that the client is innocent, despite the fact that sources have been reported by Belgian media as indicating that Francesco Giorgi, her advisor, has admitted to the charges that have been brought up by the prosecutors. A Qatari official stated that the move by the European Parliament would significantly affect both regional and world security cooperation, as well as debates on energy security and global shortages. On December 18, it was declared in the European Union EU that Doha is a key supplier of liquefied natural gas (LNG) to Belgium. This was noted in the announcement. Since the beginning of the conflict in Ukraine, Qatar has emerged as one of Europe's best chances for weaning itself off of its dependence on gas supplied by Russia. Due to the fact that Qatar has entered into long-term contracts to sell LNG to China, South Korea, Japan, and a great number of other Asian consumers, this country of less than 3 million people is now one of the major gas producers in the world. According to figures provided by the European Commission, the total amount of LNG that the EU has imported from Qatar represents less than 5% of its total gas imports for this year. However, Qatar's importance to Africa's energy security will increase as a result of the country's plans to expand its capacity for the production of LNG. Two large projects are scheduled to be finished in the years 2026 and 2027. The first European country on the list of countries that have placed gas orders with Qatar is Germany. It is one of the EU member states that has had the most trouble acquiring a supply of alternative energy gas from Russia. Prior to the conflict, around 55% of Germany's gas supply came from Russia via import. Last month, German corporations signed 15-year contracts with Qatar Energy, which is owned by Qatar, and ConocoPhillips, which is controlled by the United States, in order to be able to purchase 2 million tons of LNG per year beginning in 2026. That's when we started working on the field project. The first phase of Qatar's capacity development has been completed, and with it comes the OP rationalization of North Field East in the Persian Gulf. According to Cinzia Bianco, a Europe and Gulf researcher at the Council on European Foreign Affairs ECFR, some EU nations, including Italy, have been more interested in Qatar's LNG. However, the majority of EU members have simply considered spot market arrangements. Germany is the only EU country to have inked a large long-term energy arrangement with Qatar, the sentence reads. The agreement will last for the next 20 years. The European Union has been working around the clock to increase the amount of gas in its reserves, and many analysts believe that the continent will be able to escape an energy crisis this coming winter. However, turning their backs on Russia and increasing global competition for gas is predicted to make it more difficult for European countries to purchase gas in the coming years. Many people have this expectation. Despite this, the most recent tensions between Qatar and the European Parliament threaten to envelop the significant hopes that European countries have for energy in the midst of the crisis. After a meeting of EU energy ministers in Brussels last week, German economy minister Robert Habeck was questioned whether it was appropriate to buy gas from Qatar in light of Doha's alleged involvement in the controversy involving European members of Parliament. These are two separate issues to be concerned about. The taking of bribes is a serious crime. When engaging in business with other nations, one must always have ethics in mind. In addition to this, 
one must always keep in mind the possibility of ensuring supply security he remarked, making a veiled reference to the significance of ensuring adequate energy supply. Although Qatar has refuted all of the allegations made against it in connection with the crisis, not everyone in Germany agrees that energy security should be prioritized. Congressman Dennis Ratke, a Christian Democrat, has requested that gas contracts with the Gulf state be examined more closely. The corruption scandal might also put more strain on Germany's governing coalition, with the Greens being unlikely to be happy having to pass deals on new gas supply as a result of the need to do so. Rasmus Andresen, a spokesman for Germany's Green Party in the European Parliament, responded in the negative when he was asked if Berlin ought to rethink the arrangement with Qatar. He stated that we are investigating anything and everything having to do with Qatar here in the Parliament of Qatar. It is imperative that Europe and other regions follow suit. Qatari gas is not a long-term solution for German energy security, according to Henrik Hahn, a member of parliament for the Green Party, but it is today something less terrible than Russia. There are numerous other countries than Germany that have an energy partnership with Qatar. Total Energies, a multinational energy company based in France, is also a big investor in the Field East LNG and North Field South projects. ENI, an Italian energy company, is also a shareholder in Field East LNG. According to Bianco, an expert at the European Council on Foreign Relations, the corruption scandal that has rocked the European Parliament could put a hold on any efforts to enhance future energy cooperation between the EU and Qatar. Bianco's analysis was supported by the opinions of two high-ranking EU officials. They are concerned that the controversy will have a negative impact on the relationship with Doha, particularly with regard to the energy industry. Following the outbreak of Russia's military action in Ukraine, we relied heavily on the assistance of Qatar. They contributed to our ability to obtain gas. Nations such as Qatar are in a situation where they have the ability to choose their partners," said a government official. I have no doubt that the events that have transpired will have repercussions. This relationship will be significantly more challenging as a result of it. That is a fact beyond any reasonable doubt, according to what the other official claimed. Support the channel by like and share the video. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell to receive the latest news. Thank you for watching.